What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again, and today I want to talk about splay trees, as you see in the upper left corner. Now splay trees are a great data structure that's often used a lot in actual real life, or used in industry is really the better term, to again rebalance a tree and basically be better than a binary tree. Now if you watch my other data structure video on 234 trees, that is another that is basically another data structure which kind of is a way of a self-balancing tree which is highly motivated in highly motivated to find in data structures so you can easily access elements in big O of log n time and that is what a splay tree does um, if you don't know what big O is watch my video on it it is my most highest viewed video on YouTube at this moment now it, this, a splay tree is big O of log n time on average. Now what does that mean? Well, the problem with a binary tree, which is different than a splay tree, is that a um, binary tree can deteriorate to linear time if you, for instance, put a lot of numbers in at one time in order. For instance, what if you put the numbers 1 through 10 in a binary tree in that order? So 1, if you put 1 in, then, it, then you'd put 2 in, then you'd put 3 in, and then dot 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 all the way down to to 10. So doing that is kind of just like it, you have basically just made a linked list because you're not utilizing any of the left the left childs of the subtree of the binary tree. By doing that, you um, basically yeah deteriorate it to linear time if you want to search for anything. So that's not good. So a splay tree tries to correct this problem, but a splay tree isn't always perfect and sometimes does deteriorate. But what a splay, what one of the greatest things about a splay tree does is, let me type this up, is that it brings it brings the most used used elements up towards the root for quick access. So that's really awesome. So if you're using, if you have a tree with let's say 5 billion elements, like maybe, I don't know, Facebook birthdays, and you only use Mark Zuckerberg's birthday or the Facebook corporation's birthdays, then that's like only a thousand people, then all those trees are located very close to the root or at not that far away, not that at a bigger depth than you may think from the root, which is really nice. So it allows reoccurring elements to be you to be easily found quickly at the after the use, which is really which is a really good attribute. And also another thing about, like I said, a splay tree, the worst case worst case is linear time, which again, like I showed you, they can deteriorate like a binary tree, but they won't deteriorate like a binary tree, which is really nice. And how what a splay tree does, as I'll show in the next video, is I'll show the three rules of a splay tree, is that it uses tree rotations. And tree rotations are a way of rotating the nodes so that they work again, so that it's different and that we eventually rotate the node that we're finding, deleting, or adding, or replacing by deleting, all the way up to the root, which is pretty cool. So, um... That's also important, and remember, I've said this before, splay trees do not become perfectly balanced like a 2-3-4 tree is constantly trying to do, if you've seen that video. Trees are not perfectly balanced. And, yeah, so, uh, one thing that I may not make clear is that splay trees are like binary trees in that they each each node can either have 0, 1, or 2 nodes. So like a spade tree, this a spade tree does look exactly like a binary tree. So one, one, two, zero. Um, put zero here, but this would be five. And this really can't be many things, but um, yeah. So let's make we can make that two because that's what duplicates go. Um, but yeah, splay trees look exactly like binary trees, but they're, as I'll show you in the next video, they use rotations and three rules, the same three rules for finding, deleting, and inserting to basically rotate nodes and make this a viable tree to use and a very good um, data structure to know of. So I hope you guys watch my next video. I'll be making it right after this one. But this is just an intro video, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. But yeah, so have a great day, and see you later.